Well, it's Saturday about 2 o'clock. I'm headed to the Mumbles man's house. We're going for a spin. We may go for a spin tomorrow at Surf Church. We're going to, uh, I think we're going to a Mexican place, Great Matter City, this mo today. We had a heck of a snowstorm here yesterday for the Virginia Beach area. 25 miles all around us got from one to three inches. Uh, some got four or five. But here, right here where we are, we didn't get any. It was mixed with rain, so much rain it didn't stick. But it was snowing a lot. It just didn't stick to the ground at all. We had a lot of wind, probably gusts of 30. Maybe that helped us some. I don't know. But I'm going to be there in a few minutes, so stand by. I'm using a different camera today. I've used this camera in a long time. I forgot to charge the battery on the GoPro. This is my old Kodak. We'll see how it goes. Well, I have my right eye cataract removed Wednesday. It seems to be much better by today. The colors are much, much brighter. It's unbelievable the difference between my left eye and my right eye, as far as color goes. It's not 20-20 by no means yet, but it's 20, it was 20-30 the day after the operation. And it's improved a lot since then. And it ain't much of a deal, except for the drops. The drops before, the drops during, and I think he got 14 days a damn drop afterwards, which we didn't know about. I mean, we knew he had some, but not 14 more days of drops. God! And that's the only really, well, I can't say that's the only really expensive part about it, but the drops are not cheap. Even with insurance, they're a little pricey for me. But the results so far are great. I'm using the uh, new little six inch T-Rex today, again. Imagine Mumbles Man, I have his uh, stealth. I got two minutes to go. Great Mountain City, here we go. Tide low in about a half hour. Well, we got some ripples here, ripple slews. I was hoping it'd be more. I can see a few more as we go that way, which is probably a good thing. So far, no targets yet. I've seen dig, Denny dig one. Stand by. Well, we've got a first decent signal. Six. That's the first signal we dug anyway. Looks like a little teeny piece of crap to me. There it goes. A little piece of copper. 
not what I wanted. Eighteen. Probably gray matter. Kind of choppy, but two or three different sounds. But it could be iron too. Well, it says we got it. That might be a different target. Yeah, that's a different target. I don't like it being deep. I think it's iron. Stand by until I get it out. Oh, there it is. A big iron nut. You see it? Let's go get that other target that was right next to it and see what that was. Well, we're not even going to dig it. It starts right here. It goes all the way over to there. Four foot long. We'll forget that. Well, this is the first decent sound I had. A jumpy eight to ten. I did dig a piece of an earring and sounded pretty good, but other than that, it's been bleak. This is nine out of the ground. Well, it must have fell through. It had to be a little. Unless it's in here and I don't see it. I do see something, but I don't think that's a target. Oh, yes it is, too. See that piece of crap right there? A little piece of crap, what that is. That's what it's been for me, crap. Here's a mumbles, man. Let's see how he's making out. I think we're on a ball spot. Huh? I think we're on a ball yeah. spot. I got a nickel and a and a piece of gray matter and bottle caps and wire. Well, you're doing better than me. Really? <laughs> I think I got something wrong with this thing. When it touches the sand, it just falls off like crazy. Yeah. If I hold it up above, it's okay. No problem. Huh. I thought I might have something in the coil, so I was trying to rinse it out. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Might be. The guy just walked down here with his fishing poles. Got two fishing poles. You can see these slough right here. We got a big slough coming up. Big wide one with water in it. Maybe that'll have some for us. Eighteen. Probably gray matter. Kind of choppy, but two or three different sounds. It could be iron too. Well, it says we got it. That might be a different target. Ah! 
Yeah, that's a different target. It being deep, I think it's iron. Stand by until I get it out. Well, this is the first decent sound I had. A jumpy eight to ten. I did dig a piece of an ear ring. It sounded pretty good, but other than that, it's been bleak. This is nine out of the ground. Must have fell through. So it had to be a little. Unless it's in here and I don't see it. I do see something, but I don't think that's a target. Oh, yes, it is, too. See that piece of crap right there? A little piece of crap, what that is. That's what it's been for me crap. Here's a mumbles, man. Let's see how he's making out. I think we're on a ball spot. Huh? I think we're on a ball yeah. spot. I got a nickel and a and a piece of gray matter and bottle caps and wire. Well, you're doing better than me. Really? <laughs> I think I got something wrong with this thing. When it touches the sand, it just falls off like crazy. Yeah. If I hold it up above, okay. no problem. Huh. I thought I might have something in the coil, so I was trying to rinse it out. You know? Yeah, yeah, might be. The guy just walked down here with his fishing poles. Got two fishing poles. You can see these slough right here. We got a big slough coming up. Big wide one with water in it. Maybe that'll have some for us. Unless something turns up, we ain't finding much. Pretty looking spot, but no targets. Not even no gray matter. That's what's discouraging. This place ought to be loaded with gray matter. Nothing. Solid two. No, that's a little scratchy. Now we got it. I don't see no knockout gold ring. Because we don't have it.
believe I saw it that time. Try me anyway. Looks like wire to me. Oh, a piece of fishing reel. That's what it is. It's an eye off a fishing pole. Huh, pretty cool. Had me fooled for a minute. I'm going to send this scoop back to Ron on Monday or Tuesday. If anybody wants to give it a try, contact Ron. He'll probably send it back to you. I think it'd be a good scoop for the dry sand. But if you're digging a hole like this, and that scoop goes underwater like that, you pull it up like this, that sand stays there forever. It's like concrete. I can't handle that. If I were to keep it, I'd have to drill holes down through here, cut that lip back a little bit. But it's too nice a scoop to do that to. Maybe maybe one of you guys wants it or something. You can contact Ryan and let him know. As the gig master would say, I see redness. A 13. You see it? Right there. See what it is. Uh oh, I don't like it. It's a pull tail. <laughs> you turkey, you. Well, wild wild gas, two thirteen. That ain't bad. 213. Some places it was some places it was less dollar. 210, 211. Timmy said he got gas at BJ's dollar ninety nine. That's what a card though. Let me know what gas is out anybody else's way. So we can have a comparison. Boy, it was bleak today. We got exercise and that's all we got two hours. I don't know where we go tomorrow for surf church. Maybe the land or not, I guess. We'll have to see. I get back to you to round up. Well, here's a round up. <coughs> that was got me excited. That's the fishing eye or the fishing reel. That was the second or third targets right there. I guess this is a battery. Don't look like a battery, but it does sort of. That was a good sound. A spoon. This was the best sound of the day right here. I don't know what it is. There's some kind of crappy piece, but it sure sounded like the Empire State Builder. Okay, I'll have the mumbles man stuff in a minute. 